All right, now we're going to put some uh, epoxy clay fillets on um, both the fins and then also up here on this forward rail button to hold that in place. Um, epoxy clay is a, it's a two-part clay. You got your hardener and the, we'll call it a filler, I guess. Um, it comes in lots of colors. We sell the uh, Fix It Epoxy, which is gray color and it comes in these little tubs. Um, just to save time, I have a uh, pre-mix some, but I'll show you how to mix this stuff here quick. Um, take the two pieces, squish it together, and you just kind of knead it until it's a solid color. I like to make it a ball, then a snake, and just repeat this process several times until it's uniformly gray. Got my stuff here. It's going to take a small amount. It's probably a good amount there. And I'm just going to squish it onto the back of that flat piece that's holding the rail button in. And that will keep it from slipping around or anything else. Just squish that down, make sure it's thoroughly covered, then you ignore it and let it dry. Alright, for the back fillets, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our mixed epoxy clay and we're just going to make a thin snake about the length of the fillet that you're going to want. I'm going to need more than that. more uniform your snake is the better and then we'll just kind of squish it down into that corner to create our fillet then I've got some water here we'll just use the water it's works just like a normal clay so water will smooth that out real nice get rid of some of the bumps in your fingerprints and you don't want to use too much water because then it will get soaked into the paper and that will get it all weird it will swell up Squish it down along the front and you can tear off your extra bits of clay. Then you'll want to do this to each side of your fins, smoothing and making sure it's a nice flat surface. We'll um, sand and do some filling later on after it dries. It it's a 24 hour cure, so you'll have to wait until the next day let it sit overnight. All right, so we've got our uh, epoxy fillets, they're uh, cured now. Um, when you put it on, it's not gonna be perfect, so we need to sand it down. It's mostly for uh, cosmetic things, but it really likes the rock, it's pretty. So um, to get the nice round shape and get rid of all the bumps on the fillets, we've got um, a dowel here that's got two different types of sandpaper on it. One's a coarse grit and one's a finer grit. Um, just took a, a dowel with a, a thin strip of sandpaper and used some super glue to glue it down. So first we'll just take our um, coarse grit and just kind of go at it, making sure you don't sand too much of your actual tube. Just go back and forth. You can see already where the bumps are and just kind of keep going until you get kind of, um, it's flat and you can see the 
it's been sanded at all points. All right. Uh, once you get it sanded down, if you, you can see it's kind of got that straight uh, sanding marks all the way across. Um, you'll make sure you've got the, the finer grit, make sure it's nice and smooth. You can feel with your finger. Um, you can also use little foam pads like this with sandpaper on one side. Bend it to get the edges um, nice and round. Um, inevitably though, um, your, the edges of the fillet aren't going to be perfectly smooth, so we're going to fill it in with some just standard wood filler. I've got um, Elmer's here. So we'll open that up, and you'll want to water it down a bit so it's a little thinner than, um, say, toothpaste. Um, got kind of that lovely goopy consistency. Just taking the bit on your hand. Probably not quite that much. Um, just put it and pull it across. Making sure you get on the edges of your fillets to make to fill in that slightly raised edge. Couple passes of that. And then we'll let that dry. Um, it'll, you know, it'll depend on where you are, how long it takes to dry it, because it air dries. Um, but here it takes about a half an hour. So let that dry. All right, so now we've got um, our stuff that's dry here. We're just gonna take, it sands really easily, so we want a fine grit sandpaper. And just smooth down, make it nice and round and flush to your tube and your fin. All right, make it, rub your finger over it, see if it's, if there's any bumps or edges left. And if there's not, then you're all set. And once you get all of your uh, fillets sanded and ready the same way, you're uh, ready to uh, prime.